Welcome to the Missouri Baptist University Football Coaches Show. Head coach Jason Brainex here. I'm Harry Schrader. Glad you're with us today on the Spartan Digital Network. And first of all, congratulations. You a big win at Lindenwood Belleville. Talk about that particular game. You don't have many laughers, and that was, you know, what you would call a laugher by the score. Yeah, you know, I, I thought our guys really played well from start to finish and handled the adversity with the weather really well. Uh, the, the first quarter wasn't pretty. There were some special teams errors, and some of that was uh, playing in the rain for the first time and uh, wet hands, ball slipped out of the punter's hand, and obviously two early turnovers wasn't ideal, but was really proud of the defense. They really raised up. They were uh, put in bad position three times in a row and uh, held Belleville to zero points out of that situation. So it was a, it was a weird first quarter a long first quarter, um, but I thought overall they, they really answered the bell and, and uh, you know, accepted the challenge really well against them. Get 50 points, the offense breaks out, and Coach Winslow, uh, you know, he was drawing plays in the dirt. Well, let's try this. I mean, you guys did a lot of different things. Yeah, you know, our, our offensive line isn't really deep, and uh, with losing Mitch Andres to a broken leg in that game, that just made it even even more so. So I think one of the things that we'd really worked on throughout is we've got to be creative in some of the things we do. Um, beyond the offensive line, we've got to be creative in how we can get our playmakers uh, the ball, and that was something we talked about uh, on the show a week ago and something we've really spent a lot of time on. So I was very proud of how Coach Winslow and the rest of the offensive staff um, you know, they really uh, took that head on and, and the guys enjoyed it. And some of that, you know, you got to do some of that stuff to keep guys interested. You know, uh, if, you, if you can't get things going uh, on offense the way you like, sometimes those little things give them a little bit of confidence. And then, you know, really there was one or two trick plays in there. And then uh, all of a sudden, you know, the rest of this stuff really becomes uh, open and, and the guys seem to execute a little bit better and had more fun with it. Flea Flicker on the first touchdown and Isaiah King gets in the end zone. You've been really kind of waiting for him to break out a little bit. Yeah, and, and, and really what we've been waiting for is for Isaiah and Chase uh, to be on the same page. And I, I think that that started to happen on Saturday. And, and again, uh, what we were really talking to our guys about was that we're going to set the tone from the, from the beginning. You know, um, I, I feel as a young team sometimes, and I think this on both sides of the ball, we have to kind of give them the answers that we want. You know, if we don't think that they're being aggressive, then that comes to, uh, in our hands as coaches. We've got to be aggressive for them and how we uh, call plays and how we bring our defense uh, into it and what we expect out of them. So uh, I think they feed off of that, but having a bunch of young guys, they're not, they're not the, at the point where they're really going to take the bull by the horns and, and just bring uh, that type of um, energy that we want. So sometimes we have to dictate for them, and that's part of what our, our job as coaches is. Starting quarterback Chase Brown goes down with a little bit of a knee injury in that game. Uh, what's his status for this week? Yeah, he'll be ready to go. We practiced yesterday, uh, did, did a nice job. Um, you know, had a little bit of a bang up from the Siena Heights game and, and re-injured it in the uh, Lindenwood game on one of his scramble plays. But um, been in there getting treatment. He should be uh, fine and ready to go Saturday. So is he kind of like Michael Vick now? I mean, he caught a touchdown pass, ran one in, threw one in. I mean, he's your Swiss Army knife now? Yeah, that, I mean, at least for one game, you know. But um, you, in all honesty, you know, even going back to spring ball, I thought that Chase, he really does a nice job of using his legs. He's not a phenomenal runner but you know he, he can get downfield and, and run the read option uh, in some of those plays that we want and, and give us positive yards. So I uh, thought he did a nice job, uh, managed the game in a really, uh, really well. And once he uh, got settled in, things really clicked for him. Defensively, you hold them down in a nice fashion. And, and you guys continue. You talked about being aggressive offensively in terms of play calling. You're an aggressive football team defensively. Yeah, um, you know, we kind of joke around the office with Coach Bowden, you know, he, he was uh, raised and, and played for and, and coached with Greg Williams, who is known for being really aggressive and, and uh, having some different types of looks for his defenses. And, um, you know, so we kind of joke with him and call him little Greg around the office. But, uh, you know, that's that's who we are and that's who he is. And I love it. You know, the kid the kids love it. Um, they want to be aggressive and and that's coach Bowden's uh, it's just his personality 
You know, he's a guy who's going to walk in and he wants to compete and he wants to go downhill. And um, so that what better way for our guys to play than to be uh, led by a guy like that and, and be ultra aggressive. And I, I really think, think that they've done a good job. You know, we've challenged uh, that puts a lot of pressure on our secondary, but I think they've done an excellent job uh, so far this season and keeping the ball in the ballpark. Talk about being aggressive defensively. Your middle linebacker, Caleb Carver, leads the league in tackles for loss. And that's a pro somewhat of a product of your defensive scheme. Yeah, it is. You know, we, we give him some flexibility to be aggressive and, and uh, you know, we blitz him a lot. He is a, a very talented blitzer. He's somebody who can time up blitzes and, and you know, get through uh, the, the line pretty good and, and make plays. So uh, we, we give him the, that flexibility, try and dial him up some, and that's what he loves to do. Caleb is, a, you know, kind of his hair's on fire type of linebacker that wants to go and attack the quarterback and attack the line of scrimmage. So um, it's, it's a really good fit. And he's done a great job with that. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is, again, credited to uh, Coach Bowden as his position coach and coordinator. Third year in a row, you'll play Concordia. Talk a little bit about the Cardinals. They, they just keep getting better. You know, they're in a similar boat as Siena Heights. They're, I think, in their sixth or seventh year overall. And, uh, you know, they've got a tremendous running back who I believe was first team all conference last year. And uh, he's just a tough, uh, fast, you know, um, running back back there that they really ride on his coattails. They, they're really good up front. They play aggressive, uh, run the option a little bit against you, which always keeps uh, defenses on toes. And you got to be really assignment sound when you play that. Um, offensively, or excuse me, defensively, you know, they're, they're very talented. You know, I think you were reading off some stats uh, that they're in the top, you know, third, top one, two, or three in our league in defensive statistics. So it'll be a challenge for us. Uh, I think they give us some things on both sides of the ball. And, and really, the thing that we talk about with our guys is it's really less about what they do and more about what we do. You know, I think that uh, we feel confident in the guys that we have and we believe in them that if we go in and, and execute the game plan and, and really play with a lot of effort and energy and, and we do the little things right, we run to the ball, we tackle well, we block, we catch, um, you know, that I think we can compete with a lot of teams. So um, it'll be another tough test, but uh, I think we're up for it. Concordia is ranked 20th in the nation right now. and. Uh, off to a 5-1 and one start. You mentioned their running back, Connor, averages 140-plus yards a game, got 147 against you last year. Is that something where, man, that is the key, or, you know, or, or is there another way you look at it? Well, they, they can do some other things. You know, I, I think really what they do is they've got three running backs that are very talented. So uh, it really doesn't matter who they bring in, but there's no doubt that when you look at them on film, they want to run the ball. I think their quarterback does a great job of uh, uh, making good throws downfield. They've got some weapons out there, but there's no doubt uh, we've got to stop the run um, if we're going to give ourselves a chance. And then we got to lean on our secondary to continue to be consistent and hope that some of our pressures and uh, different looks and can confuse them a little bit and make him hold on the ball. And um, you know, but there, there's no doubt that we've got to we've got to focus in and stop the run against Concordia. Number 20 this week at home, number one in the nation at home the following week. Uh, who made this schedule? Yeah, well, uh, the league loves us, I can tell you that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, obviously uh, I, I might, might be the most brazen coach in the country because we scheduled number one in defending national champions for a homecoming. So, Come on, baby. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we talk about competition. And, and the really neat thing is, is um, you know, We've talked to our team, and one thing that they're really excited about is if we can go out and, and have a good game right now, uh, it's very early in our league. But uh, as, as you look, we are one and one in our league. Um, so is Concordia. So is Concordia. So we're tied for second right now. Um, you know, the winner will be in second place. And then if that's the case, uh, if, if we're able to get a win and, and be in second place, and then you have uh, St. Francis, you never know what happens. So, you know, we just got to take one game at a time, and we're in a position that we really haven't been in uh, as a program yet. But uh, it's, it's starting to get to where we want to be. But again, uh, we've got to show up on a consecutive week-to-week -week basis, something that we've struggled with over the first four years. It's 12 o'clock kickoff over at CBC High School. The Spartans take on the 20th-ranked Cardinals of Concordia. Visit us right there at the Spartan Digital Network for the game. For head coach Jason Burianek, I'm Harry Schrader. Thanks for tuning in.